So last time when we are talking about this particular Redmi Note 11 Specen, we were doing the Nothing OS and I just milked about Nothing OS a lot. Now I am ready to move out of this Nothing OS on my Redmi Note 11. So when I was checking for this ROMs in the Telegram group of Redmi Note 11 updates, we had one poll which is the project infinity x which is the official i have seen this for last two to three times so last two few months they are consistent with this uh, particular rom this is an official one yeah this is actually a ot update from the previous version of the project infinity so i have downloaded this and here i have uh, uh, project infinity and they were suggesting to use the orange fox recovery which I did download from the official Orange Fox recovery site. After this, what else? Well, I was checking the uh, screenshot and uh, looks good and this uh, image particularly is good. I don't know whether uh, it is a default image or something. It won't be. And this UA wise looks a little bit good. Maybe I may use this as my uh, daily driver. I, I don't know if it is good and having the official updates. Well, it's time to settle, right? So what I'm going to do is I have downloaded this as I said I have downloaded the G apps version so it is actually G apps uh, build also it's signed and OTA I am in and the kernel okay it's fine and then it is uh, fully encrypted so yeah there won't be much issues all the banking and uh, things should work what I'm going to do is I will be directly installing the OS without doing any firmware update or something directly from the nothing OS so first what I do is I'll just go inside the recovery so we don't have a recovery option so i'll uh, do this one or else maybe i can uh, boot uh, directly to the bootloader from there i can uh, install so here i have the cable connector in the pc i have to open the adb fastboot tool okay so here i have the platform tool so i'll type cmd so it is opening in here you can see next what i have to do is well i'll keep this folder open so redmi note 11 custom rom and yeah of infinity x so now it is turned off i will boot to uh, bootloader for that i have to use the volume down and power button right it is in fast boot now what i have to do let me just uh, directly connect now here mm, uh, fast boot devices right it is detector so fast boot boot I can or else I will directly flash the this one fast boot uh, flash recovery so which recovery here I have the this one but it is in the zip file so how you can do is inside if you go here you have the recovery dot image so I can directly extract this okay so after this here I have uh, this one and I can just do uh, yeah it should work it is telling failed but that is fine so fast boot reboot recovery right so it is still in TWRP which means it didn't flash properly so yeah if you have TWRP just uh, directly install uh, boot to TWRP and then try here what I can do is I can just uh, go here and uh, uh, select ADB side load and then I can uh, uh, do this one so now it is in ADB side load if I do ADB devices hmm. so side load is attached so ADB side load and then I can uh, drag and drop this particular zip file directly zip file we can drag and drop so it is an installable file so there won't be any issue so now it is serving okay it is uh, going to reboot that's fine also before uh, doing anything uh, with these things make sure you take a backup of all your data and the personal stuff because installing room is not a joke all your data moreover will be gone <laughs> so yeah yeah now we have booted to orange fox my storage also visible here so what i can do is i can uh, i don't need to do anything mm, yeah probably and i'll just do normal wipe after the wipe i will be i can okay that is fine now what i do is i can go here adb side load and wipe dolvik and cache okay 
so now we are in side load i can directly side load the home so adb side load and then i'll drag and drop this project infinity and enter right also as of now uh, this is uh, formatting uh, installing it in the uh, b partition so we are probably in a partition so that switching uh, should uh, properly happen otherwise this won't boot or else it will be booting in nothing os itself so we'll see that right so now what i do is i will be just uh, reboot to the recovery yeah so now we are in the infinity x recovery so we are in b partition i believe uh, we have successfully installed it so what i do is uh, here i will do one factory format data and uh, this one right okay and then i'll go back and um, okay everything looks fine i'll reboot now it should work it should boot god's grace so in the meantime i will just remove the sim card from my current mobile phone right okay next yes can't use old device yes i'll sign in and uh, we'll see let me set the fingerprint face unlock okay good okay so we have uh, we got into the os now let me check the setting so this is uh, by uh, default whatever is there available in the android stock it is uh, there so we have any wallpaper or something extra uh, only one wallpaper for uh, to represent the infinity x and uh, themed icon okay okay these are all default uh, uh, things available yeah font uh, yeah, there isn't much problem here and we have the different uh, clock faces which is also android 14 on uh, the latest one latest thing so so the problem with uh, using this wallpaper is you can see right how it is uh, uh, interfering with the lock screen so maybe only for lock screen you can use a different wallpaper like uh, plain ones from uh, google so all my other applications are uh, installing now yeah i did uh, give the option to uh, restore from my old device but uh, here uh, it's uh, not at all happening i don't know so these all uh, settings and uh, things little uh, looks little bit different uh, from previous one the wallpaper whichever we are using in the screen it is showing here and then if i go about phone well uh, we have android 14 so this one also looks good yeah so yeah this is actually may 5th 2024 security patch which is really good we are in june of course uh, we can expect the ot update uh, as per the previous uh, history of this room jesse and cyan yeah camera okay it's fine aosp camera but uh, i would have expected any leica camera or anx or something that would have been uh, great so we have a game uh, space do we have a customization dedicatedly for yeah, it is there this infinity suite having all the uh, things here i can see that uh, uh, power menu uh, network monitor indicator do we have it smart pixels okay unlock higher fps this is required yeah network monitor in the status bar yeah it should be in here display wi-fi standard yeah i need it yeah network monitor indicator so uh, we have it in here which is great network traffic indicator yes i need and uh, yeah kb mbbs that is fine here also we have uh, options so i will go through these things but uh, overall uh, i have some uh, mixed feelings so if you want me to use this as my uh, primary let me know in the comment section i will make sure i will uh, uh, use it as a primary one and i will make a review or something okay let it install somewhere it is getting installed 
so that's what about uh, this video so we have installed the infinity hex and i will be using it uh, definitely i will uh, use it as a primary device and check uh, whenever uh, next time i get ot update i will make sure to update and if you want to watch other videos of uh, redmi note uh, 11 you can watch it in here and the playlist available here and uh, thank you for watching subscribe to our uh, tech fan says if you are using a redmi note 11 make sure you uh, subscribe to this channel i will be making more content out of this whenever there is something interesting happening so yeah thank you for watching quote motto